In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, I'm sure you are well. It is Tuesday. Gracious ladies, I am concluding your peace today. God willing, tomorrow I'll do one for men. And we have been talking about how you can love yourself as a woman. Not because we don't love you, but because we cannot adequately love you. And it does not matter who you are. Whether you are a lay person, a lay woman, or a religious woman, you are a woman. All of you are women, daughters of the Most High God. So when I talk about those parameters of a woman loving herself, I'm talking about all women, even those who didn't go to school, those who are stay-at-home mom, the working moms, the leaders in the world, gracious ladies, you have got the capacity to love yourself and treat yourself nice. Allow me to pick up today with your body. Please take good care of your body. Some of us may not know how to care for your body. Remember, you are all daughters of some parents. Your mom took care of your body up until some years. From there, you took over. And you will do it until when you become incapacitated. And I will pray for you that you become incapacitated because of old age, not because of any disability or any ailment. May you grow old, grow old, the desired ripe age. But between now and then, gracious ladies, please take care of your bodies. Please do. What you eat, what you drink, what you read, what you listen to. It is important. And especially those of you who have bad eating disorder. Please. Those of you who are overeating and the body is, um, can't carry the weight, do something. Those of you who abuse substances, that is the only body you have. I'm sure you have heard of organ transplants. Remember, any organ that is plant, uh, you know, any organ that is planted in you, it comes to you as a foreign body, and there is no one person who has a foreign body in their system who is not on drugs. So that means, even if maybe they did a kidney transplant and is now in you, you are perpetually on medication. Or whatever it is that they do, if the leg has been amputated, they can only do the aesthetic uh, leg. You can't give the, the one that you have, like the one that you had. You cannot. Please. I know you don't take dangerous sports. Maybe not all of you. But please take care of your body. Learn about nutrition. Please do. Learn what your body can take and what your body cannot take. There is nobody who will know your body better than you can. So please take care of it. Physical grooming is very important. How you take care of your hair, your nails, your everything. Remember, you must feel beautiful before we tell you that you are beautiful. Some of us will not tell you the truth because we don't want to hurt you. Some of us will not tell you that you are overweight because we don't, feel, we don't want you to feel bad about your body. Some of you will not tell you that you are not very clean and that there is a certain order that is coming from you. We don't want to tell you because we don't want to feel bad. Some of us will not tell you to take care of your, of your hair or whatever it is that you have. Please. Some of you will not talk about your nails because maybe we feel that you have some, a certain attachment to them. But please take 
good care of your body. It is the only property that you have and that cannot be replaced. In fact, I was reading another text, and I think I have shared uh, this one with you, about Luke 15, and the question of, uh, the, question of the property. This writer who equates the property that this boy miscoded is actually not the money, but the only property that God gave him that is so sacrosanct that it cannot be misused, his own body. And this being a Jewish writer who said that this guy, of all other things, was feeding from the hog pen. So what the swines would be given, he would eat. There's no Jew who could be anywhere near a swine, let alone eating their own food. So his body was desecrated. Desecrating that body was misuse of the property that God gave him. How many of us are misusing the property that God gave us? Right now, our health is failing us because we misused our bodies. Did you know? Some of us and some of you gracious women listening to me, we will not live our ripe age. Why? Because we misused our bodies. Do the mirror work. Look into your eyes. Express this growing sense of love you have for yourself. Forgive yourself looking into the mirror. We call it mirror work. Look at the mirror. Forgive yourself. Talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. If you did something wrong to your parents, talk to your parents looking, um, looking at the mirror. Please do talk to your parents. Talk to your spouse looking at that mirror. Talk to him. Ask for forgiveness. Talk to your children. If it is your parents who hurt you, or your spouse, or your children, looking at the mirror, forgive them. If you have hurt them, ask them for forgiveness before you do the actual uh, asking of forgiveness. But do the mirror work. At least once a day, just say, I love you. I really love you. Some of you, I know some of you can spend the whole day without hearing this word, I love you. Maybe some of you can go even a whole week without hearing anyone saying that I love you. But gracious ladies, as your priest and servant, God knows that I love you so much. But even if I love you and you do not love yourself, something is missing. Please learn to love yourself. Finally, have fun. This is my best. Have fun. Some of us will never take you out. Uh, was it last week? Uh, today is 21st on the 14th. Last Sunday. Yes, last Monday. Last Monday was Valentine's. Now, I know I shared with you some information, but let me ask you. How many of you were taken out by your spouses and they treated you. Raise up your hands. Raise it there on the comment section. Raise up your hand. If nobody took you out and they forgot you, do that a commandment of one tear. <laughs> one one tear drop. <laughs> then I'll tell you something. You must have learned a lesson. Your spouse may refuse or forgive to take you out for fun. But please, let them forget. Let them refuse, but do not forget and do not refuse to take care of yourself. Please do not. Have fun. 
When you want to go out, go out. Those of you who play golf, go, at, go for golf. Those of you who go swimming, go and swim. Those of you who do gym, go to the gym. Treat yourself. Have fun. Those of you who go jogging, go jogging. Whatever it is that you can do to have fun, do. Those of you who love dancing, go and dance the night out. Please go and dance. Take a moment. Have fun. These things will not be there in heaven. Have fun. It is for this world. As long as you are keeping the parameters and everyone clear for yourself and for your, for your name, please do not stay at home mourning and lamenting, saying that nobody loves you. It is not true that nobody loves you because nobody means even you yourself, you do not love yourself. Have fun. Gracious ladies, get out there and have fun. Dancers, go and dance. Golfers, go play golf. Soccer people, go play soccer. Whatever it is that you play, just go. Just go and have fun. Please go and have fun. Please do. Go and have fun. <laughs> you only live once. And in heaven, God will not give you a chance to go and dance. In heaven, you will not get a chance to go do golf. Those of you who do car racing, go and do the car racing. Take care of yourself, though, but please have fun. But when all is said and done, I want you to know today, without any doubt, that Father CK loves you. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. May God protect you. May God love you. May God show his favor upon you. May he give you long life, productive life, and a healthy life. May those you love, love you back. May whatever you touch, turns out good. Gracious ladies, I love you. And I know that God loves you too. Please learn to love yourself. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.